Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. So hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. So this is week four assignment of the course soft skill development. So guys, uh, these are completely my probable solutions. So it may vary from real solutions, but I tried my best to give you the most probable solutions after watching the lectures. So if there is any mistake or if there is any suggestion to make changes, please give your opinion, guys. So once again, I am telling these are completely probable so my probable solutions so please use this uh, mcqs at as a reference for your original answers now let's see the first question so now let's see the first question a group is a collection of people who share a common meaning and evaluation of themselves and come together to achieve common goals. So it is option A, true. So mark option A. Option A. And now let's move on to the second question. Guys, if you are new to our channel, please subscribe our channel, like this video and share this within with your friends so that it will reach maximum number of students. And second one, a good relationship can be initiated through proper what? So the answer is through proper communication. So mark option D. Answer is option D. And now let's move on to the third question. So third one. A person goes to a park every day in the evening and often sees a small girl playing with her puppy. Every time they look at each other, both exchange smile and the girl wave her hand while returning home. So what kind of relationship is this? So guys actually uh, if some if you go to some place and if you suppose if you are in a train and there is a co-passenger so you'll say like uh, hello like that so what are you doing and just you just you share the information or you just say hi or hello like that. So here uh, they both exchange a smile and girl wave, wave her hand while returning home. So I think it is just a casual relationship. So guys, uh, I think the probable answer is option B. Guys, once again, I am telling that these are completely my probable solutions. So, but uh, I tried my best to give you the most accurate solutions. So if there is any changes to be done, please give your suggestion guys. So these are the solutions according to my knowledge. So this is option B. And now let's move on to the fourth one. So fourth question. In which stage of forming relationships, efforts should be made to determine and fulfill the mutual needs in between two persons? So for fourth question, the answer is option B, identification. Identification. Guys, if there are any changes that comes to my notice, then I will definitely uh, update it in the comment section. So once again, watch the video before the final submission moment. So for this answer is option B. So I am marking option B. Now let's move on to the fifth question. So fifth one. In the Tuckman model of group development, groups at the dash stage start the creative process of focusing on their goals, but may become entangled in the interpersonal conflict between indi individuals. So for fifth question, the answer is 
ऑप्शन सी स्टॉमिंग ऑप्शन सी स्टॉमिंग सो मार्क ऑप्शन सी Now let's move on to the sixth one. So sixth question. So which of the following? The sixth question, guys. So which of the following formal groups are created by the organization to accomplish some specific goals within an unspecified time frame? So for sixth question. the answer is option b functional groups option b functional groups so mark option b and now let's move on to the seventh one seventh question dash are formed by members who enjoy similar social activities political beliefs religious values or other common bonds so for seventh question the answer is option d friendship groups friendship groups so mark option d and now let's move on to the eighth one so before moving on to the eighth question i want to make a small announcement regarding so this is uh, regarding nptel uh, exam preparation mcqs so regarding the soft skill development course so with nearly 5 years of nptel experience we have collected all the solutions question and answers along with the handmade questions and there are previous year questions combined so there are two pack savings pack and super savings pack so here you will get a pdf access both these packs so you will get a google drive link so especially for uh, the premium membership so in this super savings pack there is you will get 300 huge number of mcqs so the price for this is 500 rupee up to five members can get the access with the same 500 rupees only so you can uh, combine I mean five members of your class can combinedly take this pack so that there is high topics and syllabus coverage for this 300 mcqs pack and search option is also available and it is also easy to revise because it is a pdf you can easily scroll that before going to the exam also even going to the exam and the other one is just savings pack so it is 300 worth 300 and you will get 150 mcqs here and the access will be given up to 3 members for each person i mean for each payment uh, purchase and the topic coverage is medium such option and also easy to revise so after comparing both these packs so my suggestion is it is better to take this 300 mcq pack because you are getting more number of mcqs which may lead to better practice and also it could be result in better grade so it's better to take 300 mcq spec already many students have taken and got benefited so the price is 3, 500 rupees only so up to 5 members can share that so if you want any of this pick uh, packs so you can message to this email id so i have given this email id in the comment section also guys and also in the description you can mail to me already many students have taken our pdfs and there is another pack available so it is a video mcq spec so here you'll get youtube membership so you'll get 100 plus mcqs here it is only for one person and for each person it will take 119 per month it is validity only for one month guys not till the exam day but in this mcqs pd of mcqs pack you'll get validity till the exam day and here it is just youtube membership which is worth uh, 119 per, uh, per month per one person only and it is available in video format you have to watch entire video there is no such option and it's not easy to revise so but the price is 119 per video so if you want this youtube membership first go to our channel page so eskumar edu beside this uh, subscribe button there is join button so you can click on that 
Hello guys. So there will be three packs available. So click on the third pack, 119 per month pack, and click on join and make payment. That's it. You will become member of our channel, and you can get access to all these videos. Not only one course, you'll get all the course videos for that price only. So you click on members only videos. So here I have uploaded. If you see that I have uploaded many videos, and there is also soft skill development video here. So if you see clearly see here, soft skill development course available here, part one and part two, and all these videos you'll get combinedly for 119 only. So like that you can join in this YouTube membership. Or if you want a uh, more number of MCQs for better preparation, you can contact me. If you want YouTube membership, no need to ask me. You can directly join through him. You can join or uh, directly pay through the YouTube on, to YouTube only, not for me. And if you want this uh, 300 MCQs pack, you have to message me, guys. So this is my email ID. So that's it. Now let's get back to the solutions. So eighth one. So eighth question, which of the following is a non-verbal communication type used for conflict management? So for eighth question, the answer is option D, all of the above. So mark option D. So mark option D. And now let's move on to the ninth question. So ninth one. Which style of conflict management involves pushing one viewpoint at the expense of another or maintaining firm resistance to another person's actions? So for ninth question, uh, I'm not exactly sure, but as as I have, I have heard the lectures, I think it could be probably option C. So anyone please confirm it in the comment section. But I'm going with option C, forcing style. Because here we are pushing one viewpoint at the expense of other. That means we don't consider what others are saying and we have we will try to uh, support our decision only. So I think option C could be the probable one. So, but I'm not exactly sure guys. So I'm going with option C here. Now let's move on to the next question. So next question, dash is a conflict which occurs between two different groups to prove the superiority of one group over the other. So for 10th question, I think the probable answer is option A, intergroup conflict. So let me erase. So mark option A. And now let's move on to the 11th question. 11th one. Which of the following sentence is incorrect? So actually option B is correct statement only. Option C is also correct. But if you see in option A, in the lecture, they have given the goals and objectives of group interest. So here, but they have reversed this word interest group. So if you treat both are same, then if you move on to the next one. So interest groups are specific to each group member. Actually, uh, they have given each group only, but here they have added each group member. So I'm not sure whether it uh, it is apl applicable to this or not. Actually, the the name, uh, I mean, the word member is not given in the lecture. So just they have specified uh, the inter the group interest are specified to each group, but they have given each group member. 
so i'm not exactly sure about this so if uh, this word is uh, wrong if they are given in this option then definitely option a will be the incorrect statement but if we uh, don't want to take this uh, too deep then option d could be the correct answer definitely option a or option d could be the probable answer guys because they have given a uh, there is small confusion they have given in the question because actually they have given each group only but in this option they have given each group member so it is both different right because each group means combination of members collection of members each member means individual so there is a slight difference so if that difference is true then definitely a could be the probable one if that is not the case that means each group and each group member both are if both are same then option d could be the probable one but i think each group member is the significant difference so now i am going with option a only so guys these are completely my probable solutions i have given what i am thinking so finally you decide what to choose but i am going here with option a now let's move on to the 12th question so 12th one actually uh but 12th one i am not uh, exactly sure but i think option a both a and b are correct could be the probable solution because networking is about exchange of cognitive emotional components among group of people and watching tv is an act of collaboration so i think option a could be the probable solution guys so i am not exactly sure but most probably this could be the probable solution i think so please uh, select the option as per your reference but i am going with option a so 13th one macro level social networks may involve what definitely it could not be option a and it could not be option b and definitely it should be within these two options because they did not directly mention that i don't think option c also do not uh, exist so i am going with option d right rights activists because it's a large organization they should have so large scale network so right active activists have large scale network so i think option d could be the probable one so guys please correct me if it is wrong but i think most probably it could be the correct one these are completely my probable solutions guys now let's move on to the 19th one I mean um, 14th question so moving on to the 14th question they have given consider the following uh, sorry uh, consider the following statements first one social media fosters smooth governance and the other one is with the help of social media communication anti establishment products movements can take place so i think uh, both can also be correct so option a could be the probable one but i am in small doubt because social media fosters smooth governance so it may or may not be true because sometimes social media can be used for governance and sometimes not so i am not exactly sure guys but i am going with the positive case and so finally option a i am going with uh, so please mark at your risk but i am going with option a so if you anyone know exactly please uh, correct me now let's move on to the final question of the assignment that is 15th one so here the answer is option d guys all of the above so that's it guys for this video so until the next video
so keep supporting us like this so please share this video and like the video guys so that's it for this video so until the next video goodbye thank you